Hey folks, Aspiring Engineer here. Glad you're back for another calculated conversation. Uh, I just have a few points to talk about today. Uh, number one, time has been just flying by. So uh, I know four years seems like a lot, but at this pace, it's going to get done by probably tomorrow. With all these assignments and readings and things that are going on, uh, it's really easy to focus on the now. And I'm trying to catch all the details. I know I probably won't be able to catch all of them but at least I'm trying, and that's actually helping time go by really quickly. Not that it needs to, because this is kind of fun. I used to have this weird worry in high school about whether or not I would remember something far into the future, and I guess it was kind of a way to gauge how well I was learning, but it's weird because if you don't understand something in the now, you're never going to understand it in the future. So uh, I guess the solution to that, I don't know if maybe you also have a similar struggle, is if you don't learn it now, you can't learn it in the future, or can't remember it in the future. So I say the best thing to know if you like something is to try it. Now there are a few things going on on campus that I'm really excited that I can be a part of. One of them I've talked about in my blog already is the Robotics Club. Uh, we just had a meeting, unfortunately it was a Zoom meeting because, you know, COVID, but um, yeah, we just had a meeting. Sounds like uh, there are two ways to go with that, and I'm going to do both of them, at least up front. Uh, one of them, you get to uh, build like things on campus, like a, a t-shirt shooter, and you get to mentor and like volunteer at the VEX competitions across Maine. So that's kind of cool. And then the other one is participating in that NASA like digging rover competition that's been going on forever, where your robot is like supposedly launched to the moon, and you've got to dig up ice samples. Uh, so that one sounds like a really neat challenge, and it sounds like people are going to be there to pass, on, pass along their knowledge. So I am very excited about that one. Uh, I've also joined a couple of other clubs, some engineering, some swimming, um, fencing, and all sorts of things. I got a nice tip from one of the guys at the robotics club that uh, there is an, a lab called AMC. It's essentially like a machine lab, machine shop type thing. I thought it was only for the mechanical engineering technology students. But it turns out that even mechanical engineering students like me can work there. So I plan to. Very excited about that. I didn't think I'd ever have the chance. Um, sounds like things, no one's really going to be hiring till after COVID, but that's kind of to be expected. So I'm definitely going to try and get my foot in the door there. Maybe you'll hear more about that in the future. Finally, some things I'm looking forward to are all of these clubs getting started. Everyone's just kind of having the first meeting now, and they're all on the same day or on the same time. So eventually I'm hoping those meetings are going to get a little more scattered out. I'll be able to see more of what each club is about. Oh, I also did uh, see 3D print Printing Club. They, it's exactly what it sounds like. But you can also volunteer to be a lab technician to run the machines. I don't know that much about it yet, so I'm going to hang up, hold off on that, learn more about it, and then maybe in the future, you'll see. Um, then the other big thing coming up, there is an engineering job fair coming up in October. This is also going to be virtual, and kind of like our club fair, I think we're basically just going to connect to a Zoom meeting and be sent to our individual Zoom meetings with companies by essentially an operator. Think of like a 1940s switchboard operator. Yeah, we're going back in time here. But uh, it, it's cool because you'll I'll still be able to get a one-on-one -on -one with each booth, each employer that's there, um, and I won't have like loud distracting noises in the background. Uh, fun fact, I did sneak into the job fair last year, pre-COVID, and it was a lot of fun. It was kind of like uh, an indoor flea market style where everyone's got tables all shoved up together, kind of what you'd expect. But um, really easy to just go around, get free pens and lassos and all sorts of things. And um, some of them light up. And it's, but uh, more than that, I actually got to talk to some real people about real job opportunities. And of course, the reason they're on campus is they're looking to hire students. And so we have kind of an elevated advantage that we are their target market. And um, I actually did get some, some really good tips. Not all of the co-ops and internships are just for juniors and seniors. Some are even for freshmen and sophomores. So I'm definitely going to be applying to those and hoping to get something over the summer. If not, I guess I'll just be working like every other summer. That's all I have for you guys today. This is the Aspiring Engineer signing off. 
Don't forget to subscribe so you know when I have more content coming back for you.